Okay, welcome back guys. So we just covered the Reborn split and the Mikolaj split and I'll also make an alternative video for the Reborn split of how I do it now. But for now, that's what we have for, for that area. So we killed Reborn, we killed Miko, we're ready to do this. Um, this next part is gonna be what we do for the any percent and then we're gonna kill a boss that's not necessary for that. But if you are doing all bosses, then you will kill this next boss before nurse. And I will tell you why once we do it. So uh, after you kill Miko, you're in this area here. Make sure you push X a lot because the puppet things can still aggro. And you're just gonna head up left and then left again. And then all the way up the stairs. So once he's dead, none of the puppets are alive. So you don't have to worry about them. And you're gonna go out here and make a right a little bit and grab your chunks here and then head over this bridge. And remember, you should have one Bold Hunter's Mark right now. If you do not, you need to go level up and get rid of your echoes because this next part that we're gonna do is gonna get rid of your echoes because you can't really get out of where you're gonna be. Um, so we're gonna go up and there's two shadows here, so just run by them. Get your stamina back on these stairs because there's a fireball shadow. And then just run all the way around. And then you're going to go to this corner here, but you need to listen out because there could be... Uh, let me just go back. That shadow up there, he could be shooting fireballs. So what you could do is you can just out sprint them on the stairs. And once you do that, you're just going to run over here. Here's more upgrade material for you. I believe those are the last chunks that we need to get. So... He will just de-aggro and you just run up these stairs and then right next to this pig you're gonna pop your elixir and you're gonna run up and you're gonna grab this item here this is gonna be a really good a, gem, a really good gem for you for your weapon and your cold blood those are pretty decent amounts of echoes so I would recommend picking at least one if not both of them up and then you're just going to sprint past these shadows. And remember, there was a fireball guy there, so he could shoot at you. So just kind of be cautious and just listen out to what's happening. Um, but for the most part, they won't they won't really do anything. I feel like I say for the most part a lot, but it's it's true. Like anything can happen. Like everyone's run is not the same. So I'm just letting you know things that could happen. Um, and then once you do that, you're going to get that elevator. Now this elevator right here has killed so many of my runs and so many other runners runs. Um, something that you need to do to make it a lot easier is to know that there's an opening down here that you're going to drop into. And the thing that, that tricks people and, and gets people killed is they won't take into account that there's a little part that hangs down from that opening and they see the opening and they try to go into it and then they'll just fall all the way down. So as you can see, you see how it kind of drops here. So wait until, yeah, you see how much it, it drops. So wait until that gets past like the top of the elevator that you're on. And then you could just walk straight off or roll or whatever you want to do. Um, so now this next part is our goal that we're going to do is we're going to pick up Another gym uh, for a weapon. And pretty much all the gems that we're going to use right now are everything for the rest of the run. Like that's it um, for for the any percent for the rest of the entire game. Like our weapon's going to be plus 10 and everything's going to be done. So we don't have to worry about getting any more upgrade material. Um, so for this part, we're going to pop a blue elixir and switch to our sedatives. Um, I forgot to tell you. So you're going to have blue elixir, sedative, and your bold hunter's mark. So you just run straight through. Be on the sedatives because that winter lantern back there, I don't know if you could actually see. Yeah, you see the top of the head. Uh, she can shoot you and start building up the frenzy meter. So make sure you have your sedative. Uh, in this run, I did not get shot, but around this section before you continue to run, use your sedative to get rid of that, that meter. And then for this part, you're just going to run straight by. Uh, once you get past this little part right here, you'll see the item that we're going to pick up. So you're going to pick it up. This is our gym. And then you're just going to run straight by this one in here. And then at this doorway, heal your frenzy and you're done. Like that's it. It's really easy to get by. Um, 
just practice it a few times going through there. But for the most part, it's it's pretty easy. And then we're just gonna head straight down. Uh, we're gonna dunk the brain. If you don't dunk the brain, you're in trouble because you won't be able to get what you need to. And then you're just gonna drop down in this opening, go out this, this side, down these stairs. There's a lot of items here. I pick them up just to sell later, but you don't really need all of them. Um, the main things that you wanna get are the the great wisdom, I think they're called, which are like uh, madman's knowledge, but they're you get more per one that you pop. So I usually just pick everything up. Yeah, great ones wisdom, there we go. So those, if you pop those, you get two insight instead of one. But all the other stuff you pick up, you just sell and you get more echoes. And then you're just gonna drop down here and here's your blood rock, which is the same as a, a Titanite slab in Dark Souls. Get your weapon all the way upgraded. And then you just use your bold hunter's mark and your weapon is completely done. You don't have to worry about it. We're gonna go back to Hunter's Dream. And let's see. So now we are going to pop any cold blood that we have remaining. And for the any percent, you're going to get ready for nurse. For all bosses, we're going to get ready for parl, okay? So we upgraded plus 10. Change your gems. You'll know which one because once you once you get to this point, the gems that you have on, um, just kind of look at the ones you have and you'll see the stats go up. But as you, as you can notice, we are at uh, 280. You see the 280? You want to be around this point. Again, your levels might not be 100% for what it is, but remember to put this one on, uh, replacing the red blood gem. And let's see. And then you're going to replace uh, the tempering five with the nourishing damp. So nourishing damp and uh, the tempering that goes into the third slot. And then again, we're gonna dump our insight, just get the normal stuff. And then we're gonna go here and we're gonna sell any extra things that we have. Miko cage is what you get from the fight and then sell all the other gems just for just for extra stuff. I mean, look how many levels or look how many echoes we have. We have 81,000. Okay, again, for, for any percent, remember what I told you about your levels. Um, you're not going to have the exact same levels as this. You're going to have 25 skill and either 40 to 43 strength, okay? But for this run, all bosses, we have 30 and 40. And remember, we're getting skill. Our goal is to get skill to 50, so we don't worry about strength anymore. Um, and now this is where if you're just doing any percent, you can skip over this part and don't worry and just wait until we get to nurse. And I'll let you know when when we're at that point if you just want to keep watching but if you are working on all bosses what we're going to do is we're going to go fight parl um the reason we fight parl now is to have more bolt paper because parl gives you a badge that unlocks um bolt paper to be bought at the insight shop which is remember this number here so we don't have any now because i usually dump them um so for this next part what you're going to have is uh blood cocktails fire paper and beast blood pellet and you're going to head to the second lamp okay so in the reborn split so once we get here we're going to have yeah okay so this is a little bit of the newest strat that i used to do um until i i came up with something that was really good we're going to use any blue, a blue elixir for this part and remember i told you i was going to make an alternative video for um for this whole area i use an elixir here and run past this guy and he won't really aggro anymore because he's delayed and you can run straight by him no problem but again i'll i will make the video to to have more details for the reborn split so it's a little bit easier and then we're gonna run down here remember we dropped down those stairs to get the upgrade material now we're gonna go back to this point where we got those those blood chunks that were sitting right here. And we're gonna go fight Parl. Uh, Parl is the easiest boss in this game. You can get a little screwed up, so just be careful. 
Also, I use a beast blood pellet in this run, and I don't use a fire paper. You can use the fire paper, it does more damage, but you're gonna see, cause we're super OP. Um, the only thing I can say is run in and hit, because you're gonna see Parl's gonna start trying to charge up. And if she gets that charge up, you'll get an AOE and it it's bad. So just go in R1, L1, hit the limbs. She staggers very easily. And that's the whole fight. Very, very easy fight to do. It's a nice little, refresher fight it's a good split to get through because it's super quick and you can split and you feel good about it um so yeah that's the whole fight so if you're doing all bosses you just fought an optional boss congrats it's a very easy one to get through for sure and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get more bolt paper uh remember if you're just doing any percent at this point you're not gonna have as much uh bolt paper that we have you should have a good amount of beast blood pellets though i think you have around three maybe three or four so that's plenty that's that's plenty for the nurse fight so don't even worry about it and then we're gonna go to murgo's middle and we're gonna go fight nurse so this is any percent right here this is your last boss that you need to fight there's only eight bosses that you need to fight total and this is the last one. Um, there's there's only a few things that I do for this for this fight. There's a few attacks that I'll go in on, and hopefully we have a good demonstration on this. So we're just gonna run up. We're gonna go to the elevator and pass the Queen Yarnum, which if you remember we passed her to get this elevator. So we're just gonna we're gonna go up. You're gonna put whatever buffs you have. I think for any percent you have one fire paper, maybe one bolt paper and like three or four uh, beast blood pellets. And we're gonna head left, go up this elevator here. And we are gonna go fight Murgro's wet nurse, our last boss. Man, I'm a vape boy, look at that. Oh man. Okay, so once we get in here, we're gonna buff up before the cutscene. So when you walk to the middle, you'll get a cutscene. And I will tell you the only attacks that I go in on once we see them. This is one that I go in. So I dodge in and do two R1s. This is good RNG. Dodge in R1, R1, back up. Now for the attack that she just did, uh, let's back it up real quick. And she's gonna do one more. Okay. So hit, hit. And then what I do is I back up, okay. And if I see her doing lawn mowers, I'll back up and then dodge because it gets you out of range because she has a kind of a long startup. So you want to back up and then dodge, okay? You'll get the muscle memory. You just need to practice, that's all. And my, my nurse fight is pretty slow. Again, this is something that's comfortable for me. If you don't want to do this and you know a faster strat that you want to practice, by all means, go for it. But this is what works for me. This is the most consistent that I that I can do, especially if this is your last boss, you don't wanna risk getting hit when you could just play it safe, right? So we're just gonna wait it out. She does those those attacks. Now, this is called nightmare phase. Now, let me explain something about this. So when you see her doing this, this like summoning casting thing, you see how her wings flap and she's gonna raise her arms. Um, for her health, if her health is not that much, like if it's not that low, if it's around this point, if you miss nightmare cancel, which I'll explain in a minute, um, it'll only be her. It's just her. So the screen's going to get dark. She's just going to chase you. That's the easiest one to get by. You don't really have to do anything. Just stay away from her. But if it's below, like I think 60% or lower, she will summon clones of her. Um, so that's the one, like if you see her health is getting a little bit lower and you miss the first one, don't worry about it. Uh, it's very easy to get by, but if she summons the other ones, all I do is I run in a clock, a clock, uh, clockwise motion around the arena. So I run like this around the arena, managing my stamina. And that's pretty much how you can prevent it. Like don't try and dodge. Don't try and, uh, fight her or anything. Just run around and manage your stamina. Um, we're not gonna see it in this run because it, it doesn't happen once you nightmare cancel. And that's something that you really need to get consistent of. So let me show you what that is. So once you see, 
You see how she has her arms up. You see that there's purple that's starting to come up. Just like that. We'll go back so you can see. Arms up. Purple. Dodge twice. Lock on. Dodge twice. To the right or the left. It doesn't matter. And you will cancel her nightmare completely. Just like I did. Okay. So she's doing lawnmower. As you can see, she did this jump attack here. Um... Something about this attack, and I've been caught actually in, in tournaments that we've done. This this attack has actually caught me before because you can just walk right under her and not dodge. But sometimes your distance from her is a little bit different. So you could be a lot further than you think. And you think that you can just run under and she'll clip you. And it's really, really messed up. So a good rule of thumb is just dodge, hit her twice. Um, you can do an R1, L1. Never go for three hits. Don't go for three because she can do lawnmower and she can get you like really bad. So I always either do two R1s or an R1, L1 and that's it. And this is pretty much how I fight her. Like she doesn't really do anything else. This is another attack that I go in on. So two hits and I back up. See how I walked back and then dodged when I saw that she was doing lawnmower. So those are the only attacks I go in on. Um, when she does the the crossing arms and open slash one or the one where she drops her her weapons in front of her or when she does this and see how I strafed her there what I just did is very scary it's not always guaranteed that she's gonna dodge away like that so just be careful be cautious don't get greedy um, it's a very easy fight she doesn't have projectiles she doesn't really do anything crazy so it's a pretty comfortable fight. Once you get to this point, you should know like, okay, we got this run. Um, but again, like I said, there are other ways to fight her that are a lot faster um, that you could be comfortable with, with practice. But this is how I have always fought her. So, um, yep, this is pretty much how the whole fight goes. Nothing really too crazy. Again, I only go in for those attacks. So we don't need to really worry about it. And she'll she'll teleport like that when she bends her head down. Here's another nightmare cancel where I dodge the other way so that you can see it. And she'll bend her head down, she'll teleport, you can get a hit in on there as well. Okay. So once she gives us something good that we like, just like that, we dodge in, we kill her, she's dead. I always spam, spam my attacks on her. And that's the any percent, guys. That's the whole run. My run was around... Uh, this is without load screen. I'm sorry, this is just real time without considering any load screens. So my any percents are anywhere between an hour 15 to an hour 30. You know, that's that's how long it takes. Which is still like a really fast run. It's It's a fast and safe run. It's... It's pretty easy to deal with, just learning executions and everything. So uh, that's that's pretty much it for the any percent. So if you're doing any percent, watch all the videos that we have. I think we only have like four parts, right? And that's that's it. Just practice and, and get it done. And you will be on your way to learning the optional bosses. Okay, so we're going to end the video here. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, again, always, if you have any questions or anything, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to answer it and get back to you um, with an answer. Other than that, we're done for this and our next video is going to be working on all bosses and then eventually we'll be at the DLC. So it's really exciting. The The rest of this stuff is, is very, very exciting because the any percent, you're pretty much getting your weapon upgraded you know you're you're leveling a lot and stuff but this stuff goes pretty fast there are some some parts that you need to be careful with but we will explain that in the next one okay so take care guys and i'll see you in the next video